or make us a video. What does f prime of x tell you about f of x? Come on, give me some. It is a derivative. What does it tell you? What does it tell you about the slopes? It, okay, so from that you can determine if the slopes are negative or positive. What would knowing whether or not the slopes were negative or positive tell you about the function? What's it? If the function's increasing or decreasing, right? So this will tell me if f of x is increasing or decreasing, all right? Just as an offshoot, what else could it tell you about? The derivative would also tell you what about the function? Uh, 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 yeah. What else do you use the derivative for related to the function when you're talking about extrema? Come on, somebody. It'll tell you where the critical values are, right? Okay, that, but that's just an aside, but so you know, all right? Thomas, you got to know what's up. All right, so if I have a function f, y'all with me? I can find out where that function f is increasing or decreasing from f's derivative. Do y'all agree? Mm -hmm. And I'll use, what's the tool I'm going to use to do that? The sign chart. Make sense? Okay, I don't think y'all hear me. Suppose I had this function, f prime of x. All right, I got that function. How do I find out where f prime of x is increasing or decreasing? Think about what you just said. When you wanted to find out when f of x was increasing or decreasing, what did you need? You needed f's derivative, right? Let's say you wanted to find out when g of x was increasing or decreasing, what would you need? You need a derivative of g, right? If you wanted to know where the first derivative was increasing or decreasing, what would you need, Mateus? The second derivative, because wherever you're at, if you want to know when that thing is increasing or decreasing, you just need its derivative, right? What if you had the tenth derivative, and you want to know when the tenth derivative was increasing or decreasing? Thomas, what would you need? Sign chart of what? The eleventh derivative. Because when you take the derivative of somebody, that's where you can get the information about where that guy is increasing or decreasing. Y'all hear me? So, and this is going to be an excellent tool for all you engineers, because you're going to come across this often and you scientists. Somebody's going to give you something, and you're going to need to know when is it increasing and when is it decreasing, or more particularly, you're going to need to know where its maximums and minimums are, and you're going to know. Just take the derivative of that guy. If you don't like calling it f prime of x, then you could have just thought of f prime of x as, call it g of x, and then you know. How am I going to find the derivative of g of x? I take its derivative. Well, what is the derivative of g of x? It's the second derivative of f. So if I want to know where the first derivative is increasing or decreasing, I'm going to need the second derivative. Are y'all with me? OK. Let's go back to our pretty pictures. You see your pretty picture? Look at the first one. Y'all everybody got one like that on their page? All right. Look carefully. Those green arrows are the slopes of those green arrows increasing or decreasing. Doesn't vary. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. Are they increasing or decreasing? Increase. On the left hand side, what are they? What's the first one at the top? You're thinking, is it negative or positive? Negative. Okay, the second one, is it more or less negative or positive? Is it? Oh, Lord. Are y'all taking. Let me put some numbers on here because we might, we ain't looking at the same thing. Y'all gonna be all on the internet sounding like that. One, two, Three, four, five. You're walking, right? Okay. So is one more or less negative than two? Is two more or less negative than three? So on and so forth. Just look between two and three. What's two? Is it negative, positive, zero? What is it? The slope. Negative. What about at three? If you went from negative to zero, are you increasing or decreasing? Okay. What about four? And is five more positive than four? Yeah. So if you walk that path of green arrows 
The slopes of those green arrows are increasing or decreasing. Which one? Increasing. increasing. All right, here it is, Thomas. I'm trying to figure out what you know. What part of the function holds the information about the slopes of those tangent arrows? What, where do you get that information about slope from of a function? Which derivative? Where, where do you get it? Second. Oh, Lord, y'all ain't here. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all trying to anticipate. Answer my question. Where is the information about the slopes of a function? Where is it held? Come on, Tanya, y'all say it. The first derivative holds the information about the slopes. Isn't that true? You want to know about the slope of a function somewhere at a point, you need its derivative, right? So when we're talking about increasing or decreasing, as I've written, one, two, three, four, five, we're talking about the slopes of the tangent lines are increasing, correct? The part of the function that holds the information about the slopes of the tangent line is the derivative. So when we do this thing, we're talking about where is f prime of x increasing? Well, where will we get the information about f prime of x increasing from, Thomas? That's the question you were trying to answer before. Second, Second derivative. And that means that since these first derivatives, which are the slopes, are increasing, that means the second derivative has to be what? Greater than zero or less than zero? Greater, Greater than zero. Oh. Look at that function. You see the way it looks? When it looks like that, we say that function is concave up. It means it can hold water. Concave up. It's concave up. How would I know where it was concave up, Lee? What part of the function would I look at to check the concavity? Is it at the function, the first derivative, second derivative, tenth derivative? What part tells me about the concavity? Second derivative. Second derivative. It's concave up, but the second derivative is what? Greater than zero. You mean you on the video? Greater than zero? Say it loud so I can get you guys. Letus Jones, what's your answer? He says it's greater than zero. You're on the video. I made you a star. All right, look at the second one. The second one's different, right? Hello? Okay. All right, so what do we know about the second one? Let's do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Are those slopes increasing or decreasing? Decreasing, because decreasing, they were very positive in the beginning, then they went to zero at the top. And then they start getting more and more negative as you went down the other side. So again, I'm thinking about what part of my function holds the information for the slopes. It's the first derivative, correct? So f prime of x here is decreasing. So if I took the derivative, it should indicate decreasing, right? That means the second derivative must be less than 0 or greater than 0? Good. So f double prime of x, when it looks like this, is less than 0. And this is what we call concave down. Look at y'all on the video trying to be smart. Concave down. 